Hi, my name is Niall, and I am making a science fiction horror film within the Unreal 5 engine. I am currently world building my film by blocking out 3D environments. This video will be a sneak peek or behind the scenes look at how I complete this process. So let's start with scene one and the story behind the film so far. Scene one starts topside on an old worn down farm. The weather is overcast and lightning storms are forecasted for the night. It's in the first few scenes where our protagonist enters our world and crashes into the horse's stable. The film itself is inspired by a folktale where ancient civilizations would build monuments directed to the stars. They would rebuild these monuments as the stars shifted across the night sky in the hope of mapping their locations. They refer to those stars as sky serpents. And in our story, it has arrived. I like the idea of creating dark atmospheres within the Unreal 5 engine. There is a lot of emotions that you can capture when working with thick fog and moody frames that you just don't get when creating vibrant landscapes. These type of overcast environments allow you to play with a range of tools such as fog planes, rain particles, volumetric lighting and so much more. There is one main goal that I have for these first renders and that is to create a realistic overcast environment that looks beat down and not very pleasant to be in. In most cases, adding a soft skylight with the height fog enabled would do the trick. However, I wanted to try and push myself to add more dynamic elements into my world instead of having a pale blue glare throughout my scene. Using ivy, marshy mud and puddles was a great way to flesh out my landscape with very little performance cost. Adding the dynamic fog planes and adding them slightly was a great way to add subtle movement into my scene. Achieving realistic and believable water is always a challenge within 3D design, so the rain and water drains will need much more work before I can consider moving them to post-production. For now, I'm not so sure if they will even make it through, however I do like the added movement that they bring to the frame. Scene 3 brings us into the barn interior where horses can be heard panicking as the new owner makes himself at home. The strategy of the new owner is to burrow deep underground where it will nest and drag its victims to its lair. I wanted to show this by using blood decals throughout the scene to show the results of the first victim. Lighting is the main character of this frame and to achieve a decent god rays with little performance costs I had to get a little creative and to achieve that I simply used image planes. I feel they provide so much to the frame. As some time passes and the barn has been scorched due to the impact, our introduction to the main character is presented. After a hard shift of damping the flames, our characters explore the barn. I started the scene by placing my animations and camera into the sequencer before building around them with simple assets. The lighting contains a three point system, including a fill light, a key light, and a rim light. All of these lights are placed inside an empty actor. That way I can attach that empty actor to my main character and experiment with different lighting as he moves through the scene. It allows me to have full control. A little tip for picking realistic colors for your lights is to copy the value from a Kelvin chart. I very rarely use the color wheel when selecting my colors, unless working with a stylized piece of work. I find that by sticking to the Kelvin chart, you stay within the boundaries of reality as we have become accustomed to certain values from our surroundings. For example, a flaming torch or candle lit lantern may make use of two lights, the hotter area of the flame using a 4100 Kelvin value and the warmer luminance using a 1400 Kelvin value. Moonlight could also be a 4100 and then color corrected in post to a bluish hue. Any industrial lights should be around 9500 Kelvin. I am very happy with the first blocking of the scene, however I would like to add more subtle effects such as god rays piercing through the walls of the barn from the outside. And I would also like to add dust and ash being revealed by those rays. Anyway, this is all for the film for now. Maybe I will revisit these scenes in some time with fresh eyes. I hope you enjoyed the video 
and I shall see you in the next one.